This trailer is made of a plastic that is almost as strong as steel but weighs 1,200 kilograms less. It's a green revolution in transport because a lighter truck means more payload, fewer journeys, less road damage, fuel savings and reduction of emissions. Engineers from EPL Composite Solutions, an independent research centre in Leicestershire, developed the new material within the EU research project Clean Mould. They used an innovative process to double the volume of glass fibres compared to other plastic composites. David Goodwin demonstrates the process on a sample. Glass fibre mats impregnated with resin powder are put into a mould. This mould is then placed in a plastic bag and the air is extracted. The vacuum helps to keep the mat attached to the mould. Eventually, David places the sample into an oven where it is formed at 200 degrees Celsius. In the oven, the powder resin melts into a liquid which coats the glass fibre. Composite design allows you to um, mould in complex shapes, but also the very nature of our monocoque uh, design philosophy means we've got big, flat, smooth surfaces as opposed to a steel trailer which is very messy underneath. There's a lot of um, separate individual pieces that affect the airflow. Software used for Formula One cars shows the aerodynamic behaviour of the new shape. After the heat is turned off two hours later, David Goodwin takes the thermoformed sample from the oven. The material weighs only 25% compared to a similar amount of steel. And at a first glance, also the quality and robustness of the sample seems promising. But could the new material also replace the steel frame of a truck trailer? To test the new material on the road, the engineers have built a prototype trailer from only one large component. A 20 metre long oven belonging to the Navy in Portsmouth was needed to mould it, just like they had created their previous samples. At the test track, a 28 tonne load is placed on the trailer. Attached sensors will measure the material's behaviour as the trailer is pulled along different test tracks. All data will be collected by a computer in the driver's cab. These speed bumps have twisting forces on their structures, which strain the material. The aim of the test is to maltreat the trailer as much as possible. The composites, I believe, are, are ready to roll out into the industry now. We've manufactured three prototype trailers currently, and they've all been tested both um, statically and dynamically on the roads. And all of the feedback we've been getting from the people that drive them is very encouraging. So we are now ready to commercialise this product.